so I have to. I have to. I have to talk about this. What's up, everyone? Um, today I will be discussing my thoughts on the new Sonic the Hedgehog movie trailer. Now I know I am a billion years late to this, but uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so if you guys don't know, um, Sonic recently has been getting crapped on. Um, most of his recent games have sucked. Uh, Sonic 06 was a disaster. Sonic Unleashed uh, had a lot of promise, but was held down due to its web of mechanics. So on, so on. Sonic New World, Lost World, whatever it was, was forgettable. Sonic Forces I thought was pretty good, but a lot of other people didn't like it for it being too easy and mediocre. So yeah, Sonic hasn't had a great reputation. And judging by my name, you can obviously tell that I'm a huge Sonic fan and that is correct I freaking love Sonic I've played most of his games I just love the character I love I love all I love all the characters I love the worlds I love the music I love the games I ooh, I'm a huge Sonic fanboy okay so it goes without saying that I really care about this character's reputation and I kind of vote other people to like the blue bo the blue blur as much as I do right so, with that being said, I was hoping that he would make a comeback, and you, you know, with Sonic Mania receiving uh, good criticism and, and uh, good flack, I was like, oh, okay, well maybe they can make a comeback, maybe um, they can actually stop making Embarrassing Sonic's uh, property name, and you know, actually uh, making it, you know, uh, more popular with people, and... They decided to do that by releasing another racing game. Uh, those aren't really popular, and a lot of people don't like them. I mean, I'm gonna still get it whenever I can, but uh, yeah, and they decided to release another racing game that's probably gonna be forgotten in like two, one year, and then they are making a live-action video game movie. So, video game movies have not had the best reputation of being good. A, a lot of people try to theorize why video game movies are never good. Some say it's because the whole fun of the video game is playing it and not actually watching it, but that is false because the game's narratives are sometimes better than actual gameplay on rare occasions. Um, some people say that, I don't know, just people are idiots, but no, I think it's a hard task to pull off. So, I personally think... Uh, Video game stories are good, but they don't, they aren't too good to be made into an entire movie, right? I don't know, I feel like it's really hard to turn a six hour video game campaign and condense it to a two hour, three hour movie. So they decided to do this in Sonic, and uh, oh boy, it's live action too. Um, this wasn't the first Sonic movie to release, there was also a Sonic movie that released a long time ago, but it was animated, and even though it was really weird and not that great, I, I still enjoyed it, I, I liked it. This one, look at Sonic's design, just just look at him. Oh, I just want you to look at him. What is that? What is that on the screen? Okay, listen, his design doesn't bug me as much as other people, but why would they go with this? He looks like a furry. No joke, he looks like a furry. Alright? The CGI for him looks awful. Okay? Uh, the blue lightning, I like. I like the blue lightning. I think it looks cool. But everything else about this design is just... Mmm. So, yeah. His design sucks. And now let's get into Jim Carrey playing Eggman. Which seems to be one of the good things about this movie that I'm looking forward to. Um... Uh, Jim Carrey is a pretty good actor, he's really funny, and seeing him play Eggman would honestly be pretty cool. It's one of those things where you don't really think you'll like it, and it sounds terrible on paper, but then once it actually starts happening, you're like, huh, that's actually not that bad. Now, obviously, he doesn't look fat like Dr. Eggman, which defeats the whole purpose of him being called Eggman, and I don't think they're going to call him Eggman, they probably would just call him Dr. Robotnik the entire time. But, uh, yeah, I don't think they should call him Eggman, because, you know, Jim Carrey's not fat. Unless he gets fat throughout the movie, which would be a pretty good gag. But, uh, yeah, Eggman looks promising. The plot. So, apparently the plot is Sonic's an alien, and a lot of people don't like that, but, I mean, he's been an alien in previous installments, right? He's always been an alien. I mean, I've always 
viewed him as an alien, not from outer space or anything, but, you know, just as a creature that shouldn't be on Earth, right? So, by technical terms, he is an alien, no matter how you try to write him in the story, right? So, I, I, I get that. So, basically, what he's doing is that he's trying to save the universe or something. So, what I'm theorizing is that maybe there's, like, a threat with the Earth, and he came here either by accident or on purpose to save the world. And this sheriff guy or whatever, and his love interest, is going to try to help him, but they're going to be trying to get stopped by Eggman, who uh, is being hired by the government to kill him. So... That plot alone, it, it doesn't sound that great, but it doesn't sound bad. I, I don't know. The, if they execute it well, I think it'll work. I think it'll, I'll like it, but there are so many ways they could mess this plot up. And, uh, ooh. Okay, so that's just what I think of the trailer so far. Um, the CGI, other than Sonic, looks pretty promising. It, it looks alright. Um, However, uh, the people who made the movie, um, it was the deleted post, but I really hope that they deleted it for other reason other than denying it, because please tell me that they aren't uh, going back on the decision. But there was a post from the movie company making this movie saying that they were going to actually go back and change this design to appeal more to fans, because there was a lot of people who actually made their own live-action songs that looked way better than this one. So they're probably going to go back and um, fix it. And they do, then uh, I applaud them. Whether the movie's bad or not, they're showing that they actually care about whether the movie's good or not. So, I like that. I like that from them. And, yeah, all I can say is that I'm really, really, really hoping that this movie isn't bad. I mean, I'm going to go see it either way. No matter what trailers reveal, I'm going to go see it, okay? I mean, it's not like um, Edward Pettis, whatever his name is, is being cast as Batman, right? <laughs> yeah, he is, oh god. But, um, well, he most likely will be, please, 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 don't let him be, please. Um, but, yeah, I'm holding out hope, alright guys, I am holding out hope. I am hoping that this movie isn't as bad as the trailer looks, okay? The trailer didn't look that bad, like, it wasn't the trailer itself that was bad, it was more of the so many possibilities on how they can screw something like this up bad. Like, I don't, I, I don't get why they made it live action. I know animated movies don't make that much unless it's like a Pixar or a Disney movie. But it would have been so much more uh, better if it was just animated. Like, everyone knows that animated uh, movies based off of an animated character are always the ones that end up being good you can never turn animation to live action but except for detective pikachu which is actually doing a good job at that but other than that I, i'm not sure how this is going to turn out guys um but yeah uh, that's my thoughts on the sonic show so far it doesn't look that bad it looks okay but there's so many ways they could mess this up and i'm really hoping that they're able to pull through and actually make a good movie out of this and yeah everyone um i hope you guys have enjoyed my thoughts if you have them please like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time peace everyone